Now, keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. All right, George, back with us now, and uh, you had some help in the weather department overnight, right? I think Chief Meteorologist Ann Threlkeld is going to get the Employee of the Month Award for <laughs> yeah, I think so. uh, the amount of town it. he came in. Oh, of course, he came in last night to help out with some of the severe mm -hmm. weather and the tornado warnings. But if that wasn't enough, at midnight, he went to go get weather video in Osage County, Ponca City, and Interstate 35. Wow. Mm. Yeah, All he, over the place. He ran into plenty of rain, too. Well, he sure did. There was a lot of flooding out there in those areas. And, of course, he was one of the few people out in Pahuska at 4 o'clock this morning. This was some <laughs> of the video that we showed you earlier. That's what it looked like at night and during the daytime. Here's another look at Osage County. Fred Green sitting in this picture. This is Bird Creek, which looks like Bird Lake, overflowing <laughs> yeah, near cool. Burbank. And I think that little sign right there says, like, narrow bridge ahead. <laughs> cool. Flooding possible? Yeah. Did you even see the bridge, the bridge ahead? All right, our numbers for the rest of today. We're seeing some sunshine coming on out, and temperatures are warming up nicely. We're 68 now, 70 at noon, 76 degrees toward 3 p.m., and upper 70s by 5. So we're gradually seeing some sunshine. Even though we're seeing some sunshine now, we are going to see a few more showers and thunderstorms working their way into green country. And actually, basically, the more sunshine we have now, the higher the chances for thunderstorms, as that makes the atmosphere a bit more unstable when it's warmer. 68 degrees right now, kind of a beautiful uh, morning in progress after what was a very cloudy early morning. Now, as far as the temperatures, you'll notice a range. Where we've had the sunshine first, it is warmer. 70 in Stillwater, Norman up to 75 degrees, and cooler where the clouds are lingering in far northeastern Oklahoma toward Grove. Tahlequah, 66, a little cooler in Fayetteville as well at 61 degrees. We now have a south wind, and we'll have a south wind a touch stronger this afternoon, closer to 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, all the rain, we've been talking about this front. This is basically a front which has been stalled out across green country over the weekend, and it has barely moved. As far as the additional rain today, it is going to form out toward the dry line and the edge of this front out in western Oklahoma. Then that is going to make its way eastward. Now, the bulk of the rain, the bulk of the additional rain, is going to form near and just north of this front. So this means if you're watching us from southeastern Kansas, you'll have a better chance for thunderstorms this afternoon and this evening with generally less rain toward southeastern Oklahoma, even though we are seeing a few showers that direction right now. As far as what's going on right now, we're dry here in Tulsa. Nothing threatening, so it looks like we'll be dry for a good part of the day here in Tulsa. But in southeastern Oklahoma and also toward Interstate 40, rain falling in Henrietta, and there may be some small hailstones along Interstate 40 also. You can also see showers near Salisaw and near and south of McAllister toward Atoka. Now, here's the future cast for today and tomorrow. Now, one thing, this is overestimating the rain that we're going to see this afternoon, but I want you to notice the trend. The bulk of the rain that we will see for the rest of today will generally be to the north of Tulsa. Then look what happens overnight tonight and tomorrow. What's left of this front is going to gradually lift northward and gradually dissipate. And for tomorrow, we're going to see sunshine and drier weather moving in. And it looks like the drier weather will be with, be with us for the rest of the week. So for the rest of today, we're seeing some sunshine. A few more thunderstorms will try to work their way in from the west later this afternoon. Well, the bulk of that rain is going to stay to the north of Tulsa. High today in the upper 70s with the south wind. Temperatures slightly warmer west, and I probably need to update this map to show temperatures in the low to mid 80s toward Stillwater and also toward Oklahoma City, where they've had the sunshine first and also the air is a touch drier. Tonight will be humid. We will see humid weather each night this week with lows mid to upper 60s. The seven-day forecast shows the diminishing rain chances and temperatures are really going to warm up. We may see some heat index issues later this week. Highs in the upper 80s to nearing 90 degrees will have wind, a breeze, south wind each day, and we don't see any big rain chances on any one particular day in the seven-day forecast, so we should have some pretty nice weather to mm -hmm. mow the grass after the <laughs> rain we received. We got ours mowed yesterday just ahead of the rain, so oh, good. hopefully we're good to go. We'll send your husband out on Wednesday. He'll need it again. I'll, I'll tell him you said that. <laughs> right. When she says we, she means her husband. Yeah, I mean Carson, definitely. Not me. <laughs> Thanks, George.